are the artist I'll never be I'm so sorry I never stay Overreact and just walk away Good morning! We are in Croatia. We are in a place called Kavtat. Probably saying that wrong. Um, we arrived after what, was, what seemed like 24 hours. Um, bad flight was feeling very seasick no air sick car sick motion sick and um yeah but we're here in Cavtat, and it is rainy but our hotel looks beautiful and we're not staying here long we are on the move but let me show you the view beautiful morning here in croatia we are leaving this place we're only here for one night and then we are headed on a four hour bus to split so that should be interesting. I hear it's like through the mountains and it's like crazy. So hopefully I don't get sick on that, but that's it for the day. We'll see you in split. This is the bus we're going to take. This is the little bus station. There's Kier, the little bus. It's pretty cute. It's super sunny now. That's where we're going. Should be fun, we're going to split. We made it to split. Okay, if you guys are taking the bus, it's great, but know that when they say it's four hours, it's actually five and a half. I don't know if they were delayed, but it was crazy. And then we're on this bus, and it is not for the faint of heart. If you get motion sick in any way, like take medication. I took two gravel, but I think that's a Canadian medication. But anyways, like anti-nausea medication. And I was still feeling it, I was fine, it would come in waves, but it is the most beautiful bus ride. It is like all, I hope I showed some clips all along the Adriatic coast and it's like right on the water that you're driving. It's so beautiful. It was sunny when we were driving and now it's back to raining, so I have my raincoat on, but halfway through the bus driver kept picking people up and so people were like standing up on the bus, so that was kind of crazy. So make sure you get there early to get a good seat. And we're at the Splendida Palace Hotel. It is beautiful. And now we're just gonna go out for some dinner with our raincoats on, cause it's raining in Split. But here we are. So we just got on in a car, in a van, to go to Clitbiche Lakes. And now I can't even We're in the windiest part of all Croatia. It is like won awards for like the power of the wind. And it's freezing and it's so windy. Um, so if you're seeing this vlog, it might be my last will and testament. I might not make it. Apparently it's snowing where we're going and I only have a raincoat. So there's also mountains with snow behind me. So it could be quite the adventure. Um, but we are on our way to the Vice Lakes, which is a national park. There's seven national parks in Croatia. And this one has tons of beautiful waterfalls. If I survive this wind and if I survive the cold, I don't even know where Kier is. Look. Be careful in this area. I don't know exactly where we are. We're just in the middle of the highway, but like those mountains have snow. I thought I was going on a tropical vacation. Bye for now. Oh, really? You're enjoying the snow? I haven't seen this. This is the first time I've seen this. Oh, really? Wait till you get outside. Yeah. made it to Clitvice Lakes. Um, we had, I have a raincoat, I have a poncho, and I have an umbrella. It's snowing. <laughs> There's here. So be warned if you want to go to Clitvice Lakes and see the beautiful waterfalls and you think you're like me and you can go swimming, please be aware that it might be winter even though it's May. 
you might need hiking winter boots. I have Converse on. Can't see, it's not gonna end well for me. But <laughs> this is extreme fashion. You know, I really was hoping to take some beautiful Instagram pictures. I don't think that's gonna happen anymore. But we are in the national park, so hopefully I can show you through the rain what they look like. <laughs> memory card back in Toronto. Okay, I'm gonna turn the camera off because I gotta focus on this. In case you're wondering what I'm looking like. This is crazy. Like I said, I have my underwater, I have my waterproof camera in my pocket, but I forgot a memory card. I'm also not prepared for this weather, but it's so beautiful. I highly recommend the Viche National Park in any weather. It is even worth it in this crazy weather. Every, every corner we turn, it just gets better and better, but... Excuse my appearance, but we just spent 12 hours in the snow and the pouring rain not properly clothed to see the Plit Vice National Park. Now, it was stunning. There was like 16 lakes, tons of waterfalls. I can imagine in the summer that would have been the most glorious, magical place because it was glorious and magical in the pouring rain. But like, I had a hood, a raincoat, a hood, a poncho, and an umbrella, and con like I was just soaked through. My, so my socks were soaked. Everyone was soaking wet. It was freezing cold. It was minus one degrees Celsius in May. When I packed for this trip, I'm usually so organized, but I did not pack for winter. And I didn't even pack for like pouring rain. Like I packed a raincoat, but not like rain boots or boots. So, okay, just know that if you go to Croatia, it might snow. Um, Vice Lakes, apparently the weather, since it is in the mountains, like can change like, in an instant. So I would always bring a rain jacket, although they do sell ponchos um, in the resort, like on the reception area. But it was stunning, it was worth it. It was about, how much was it Canadian to get in? 40 bucks. 40 bucks? It was about $40 Canadian to get in. Um, we took a guided tour, which I would recommend because it's very confusing. Apparently you can spend like three days there exploring. So if you want just like the main attractions, definitely pay for a guided tour. That definitely made all the difference. Um, although he did not warn us it was going to snow, but rain or shine, it's amazing, I'm sure. I'm sure it's even more glorious in the sun, but bring proper shoes, don't wear Converse, it's very slippery. There's no handrails either, you're just like walking along this like wooden path and there's no handrails and he said someone slipped and fell and hit their head. So it is a little bit dangerous, especially in negative weather and pouring rain, but um, totally worth it. It's about two and a half hours from Split. Um, we just took a bus or a van and now our clothes are hanging up to dry. 
and we're thinking about what to do tonight because we're still freezing. But that was our crazy weather day. We went from 17 degrees and sunny to negative one and snowing and pouring. Anyways, but it was a wonderful day. It was an interesting day to say the least. Having some dinner. What is this? Boqueria wine bar. Excellent place for dinner. And it's right beside the gelato place. I do. Yes. I want it. Mm. What do we have today? Caramel. So we just have some gelato. Gelateria Emiliana. It's so good, I got hazelnut. Mm. <laughs> it's the best. I can't wait for Italy gelato. Maybe it's better than Croatian gelato. But this is pretty good. That's too close. <laughs> it's finally sunny. Yay! It's pretty warm, it's like 15 degrees. And we're in Split, and we are just going to walk around today it is the festival of saint dominus who is the protector saint of split he is here the sun's nice it's not too warm but it's good so we're just gonna explore today all that split has to offer i'm just so happy it's not snowing so this is sir gregory of nin the statue and you're supposed to rub his toe to make your wishes come true so we'll see his toe is gold. And everyone rubs it. He shouldn't be gold, but and this is Diocletian's Palace. This is the center of the town. And we're gonna go in here. Riva Promenade, and it's so busy today because of this festival. What have we done? We saw the procession of St. Dominus. We're just walking around. It's, we're so happy it's sunny. We're just looking for some lunch. Where was this weather yesterday? So the most people who've won Olympic medals were all from Split. They have the record for the most people. So all these names here, 
on these plaques are from people who've won medals who are from Split and they have the most. Crazy. We're just walking along this gorgeous boardwalk to get to a restaurant. Where are you going, little babies? Come back, I love cats. Where are you going, little baby? Going shopping? We're walking to the top of the mountain. I don't think we're prepared for this after the 10 kilometer hike we had yesterday, but we're going all the way up these steps to the top of the mountain. We're at the halfway point and we're gonna get a drink. We're huffing and puffing. We're not in shape. There's a cute little restaurant right here. You can get a drink and this is the halfway point. I will show you what it looks like. Look at these stairs. <sighs> I tripped already. We actually have no idea if we're at the top. He's trying to use Google Translate. Is this the top or is there more? There's no real like, you are here sign. That's over there, there's a look up point. Okay, let's go follow the nuns. They might know where to go. We're thinking this is the top, because there's a little lookout here. But the other one you could see split, this one you can't. Who knows, we did something. <laughs> we made it to Dubrovnik. We left this morning at 10. We decided not to take that bus that we took going to split to go back to Dubrovnik because it was way too long, it was hot, it was making me car sick, so we actually hired a private car. Now, it might be a little bit more money, but highly recommend, it was such a nice, beautiful trip. The driver told us so many things about Croatia that was wonderful. He even like stopped at a winery for us to get a coffee and a little taste of wine. Um, so definitely recommend that over the bus. But now we are in Dubrovnik and I think I'm gonna end this vlog and probably start another one in Dubrovnik. So yeah, um, that was split in a nutshell and we loved it. You probably don't want to spend more than two days there. There's not too, too much to do right in the city of Split, but there's lots of day trips. But we did have a beautiful time, and now it is sunny here, and we are in Dubrovnik, and so I'm going to start a new vlog.